Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through what the course looks like a little bit in Canvas here. And this is what you see when you first start for Speech 128. And I just want to show you a couple of things here. One is that um, the way it's really organized is by what we call the modules here, okay? And you can click on modules, or you can also click here where it says Start the Course, and it'll take you right to the modules. And this is the way the whole thing's organized. So you'll see that there's like one module up here called Introduction to the Class. This has got some basic beginning things in it for you. Syllabus, welcome letter, and so forth. There is a little discussion question called the meet and greet that you'll be able to do in the first week, as well as a little quick, super easy little orientation quiz that's just on the basic policy of the course. Super, super easy and fast. Um, the next module is called About the Course. It's got a little video introduction to the course. It's got some information here that you'll see. It also talks a little bit about the beginning of the course where we do what's called the war story. And it's your first real assignment that you turn in. It's a little story that you're going to tell. And you can read all about it in here. There's also examples of previous students that you can see. Quite a few examples that we've made over the years. There's another module here called the Skill Package. Now this is probably the most important module in the whole class because most of the work you do is really involved in this thing called the Skill Package. And this breaks it down bit by bit by bit. Um, there's a video here that shows you how to do it in detail. Essentially you pick from a list of skills and you do a series of activities that are all focused on that skill. There is a little discussion thing for you to do and you will see that you turn in pieces of it bit by bit until you're done with the whole thing. You're not actually complete with this until the very end of the course, right? The last, the last part is not due till um, the end of the course. So you'll see that you'll be working on this skill package while you're doing the whole course as a whole. There's other parts to this course, but this is the long-term package that lasts the duration of the whole course. All right, so then we get into the chapters. So there's seven chapters, and they've got there's text and information. Um, it starts with an inter each chapter starts with a little introduction that gives you what the learning objectives are for that particular chapter. You'll be able to click on those and see as you go along, and you'll see that each one of these chapters, as we walk through, is structured in a similar way. There's there's a little quick look introductory page that tells you what you're going to be learning what you're going to end up doing in, as far as turning in work. And you will see that the information is there. We have these activities that are called stop and thinks, where you respond in writing to a particular question or prompt. There will be quizzes on the chapters. For example, the first quiz covers chapters one and two, and it's here at the end of chapter two. Um, chapter three is very similar. Same type of thing. There's a stop and think, this time just for that chapter. There's a quiz that you'll see. And they're all dated, you'll see here, when, when you're supposed to do them. Chapter 4 on nonverbal communication is here. Same kind of format. There's some extra links. Chapter 5 module here is about listening. And you'll see it's also very similar. There's some video clips for you to take a look at as well as an activity that you have here in exercise. Chapter six deals with conflict resolution. And there are a few extra credit activities, a couple in here for you to do as well if you like. Chapter seven, the last chapter, deals with communication in difficult situations, right? Dealing with things like, you know, what to say when someone has cancer, how to talk to them, and uh, dealing with, with things like people who are depressed and so forth. And there's a reflection assignment to do at the end of reading these articles. And then there's the final, right? The final. And there are some good examples. The final is a little presentation that you're going to make in the discussion area that you're going to record. And this gives you the details of how it works. It's on October 16th. There are some examples of finals that you can take a look at. Uh, this links to another website and you will see that when you click, you have to actually click up here to get to the actual link. And you'll see you'll go to um, another website. You'll go to my, my Vimeo channel here that I have. 
and uh, where I have the videos. There's uh, 78 examples here of the final speech, and you don't have to watch them all, but you may want to watch just a few so you kind of get an idea of what the course is about. Okay, so that gives you a little overview here of what you're dealing with with the modules. Um, you'll see also you can look at the assignments, although I think it's easier just to go with the modules because it's, it's in order, it's direct. You'll see there are a few discussions. You can always check your grades here. And that really gives you the basics of what you need to know. Of course, reach out to me if you have any questions. This is my email address. You can also reach me through the uh, inbox system in Canvas. Um, my contact information, my cell phone information, all that is available here in the modules. So thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you on board here.